How's it going choppers? Today we had a promo where for every order I took in this town, I would make an additional $5. Oh, who would that be? Let me just check to see who could be here. Oh, what is this? Hello, Ray Pickard. Here's your extra money for working so hard. Ah, well thank you very much, Mr. Walmart man. I'm sure the four hours of work was definitely worth this the $10 here. Let's just go into the day. It was crap. All right, so the first drop was a flop. No orders at all over here. It's funny because they give me this promo so I drive out here and then I don't get any orders where if I just stayed in my local town, I probably would have had orders. Like, I don't know, hopefully things turn around pretty soon, but Walmart be confusing me. All right, guys, so we've been sitting for two hours and we finally got an order. It's only $14, but with a $5 promo, it should be closer to 19, as long as I don't get tip baited. And we're delivering to an assisted living center, which those can be kind of fun. So hopefully there's some instructions for the drop off. So I'm gonna go pick that up now. It'll be our first order. I'm also looking at some nightstands that are over here that I'm gonna try and flip. I'm just hoping that the lady responds to me sometime soon while I'm in this town. She has them listed for about $30. And if I redo them, probably spend a couple of hours of time working on them. I might be able to sell them for at least 150. So we're gonna see if we can get those today. That would really make up for the slow morning. All right guys, so we are delivering right now. Looks like a pretty small order, but um, I think the front door's locked. I saw some people waiting. So I'm gonna see if I could run and catch it whenever someone opens the door for them. And uh, yeah, I'm just delivering straight to her door. So we'll see if I could find her spot. Wish me luck. All right, so we are four hours into our day. I just got a $9 order, so it'll turn into a $15 order to put us right around $35 for about four hours of work. A lot of people out here bragging about big numbers, but I'm over here being honest with you guys. This is the reality. It's good some days and really bad on other days. Yeah, I'm gonna get this order done, maybe see if there's another order drop over here, and then um, I'm gonna go switch it up, go to a different town. The only reason I kinda wanna stay here is because of those nightstands I wanted to flip, but the lady's not responding. So it's still probably worth me coming out later a different day if she responds. Would have been very convenient if I was able to pick them up here, then just drop them off at my house on the way to the next door. So who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and actually get to pick those up before I leave this town. Anyways, I'll see you guys with that massive $9 order coming up here in a few minutes. Apparently this town is home to the largest nut. You heard me right, technically largest pecan, but really, that's a big pecan. This lady has some really sus instructions. She told me to leave her order on the front lawn. She's a no tipper too. I'm curious if she's just trying to show Walmart a picture of me like delivering to their front lawn so that she can somehow get it all for free. I don't know, just weird. All right guys, we are doing a favor right now. I'll tell you guys how much we make from it, but most likely just like eight bucks. At least it's curbside only. All right, and sure enough, $8. Oof. All right, guys, so we just took a $20 spark order. It's a shopping order. So we got it like 10 minutes before the actual drop would happen. And it's only 16 items, should be easy. That'll get us to $63 and about five and a half hours of work. We're doing it, guys. All right, guys, so we just got $33 spark order. It's a shopping order again, which is kind of weird, but I'll take it because that is a very nice payout. So I'll see you guys in a little. We are delivering to an apartment, but it's a really cool area. It was like a factory that they turned into an apartment slash like office space. So I kind of enjoy going there. I'm holding the camera very oddly right now, but this will put us around $95, I think. All right, guys, we're dropping off right now. This is the building and it's pretty sweet. All right guys, it is getting later. This is probably gonna be our last order to get us really close to 120, which isn't too bad for how things started. We got a, just a $22 Walmart shopping order, kind of delivering closer to my house. So I think uh, I'm getting kind of hungry. Probably should go home, call it a day. And the order. Guys, 
so before we go home, I need some gas. So we're going to the world famous Bucky's, AKA like one of the biggest gas stations you can ever go to. Pretty sure they have like a hundred plus pumps, but yeah, we're gonna get some gas. Then uh, we'll talk about today because it wasn't the greatest. Not at all. All right, so for today, we made around $120. That uh, number is going down by the second. We only used about a third of a tank today, so it's probably around $10 worth of gas, or maybe even a little less, closer to $8. So I'll throw all the final numbers at the very end of this video. And unfortunately, I forgot to set my mileage counter back, so I have no idea how many miles we drove today, but probably close to 100. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys smash that like button, consider subscribing down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.